Hello folks, welcome back to Big Board. Let's have a look at the African campaign. Designer Signature Edition. Yes, indeed. All right, well, uh, pretty gripping little box art exercise. You've got the Monster Large Compass <laughs> Games logo in the corner. They seem to like to do that. Uh, it's a funky kind of font, very cool. Uh, like I said, nice art on there. Nice description on the back, so if you've never played a war game before, you might think, hmm, I might want to try this. Uh, two turns equal a month. You can see the scale on the left-hand side there. No no need for me to repeat everything Everything you can read. It pertains to divisional scale, etc., etc. This is, of course, John Edwards, uh, one of his iconic games, classic games, that he produced. And uh, my favorite, uh, all-time favorite, of course, is uh, the Russian campaign, which was released by Jerko Games originally, which I think was his company, actually, if I recall correctly. I'm not sure. But uh, that, besides the point, he then, of course, did the African campaign and uh, was pretty fantastic. So I thought we might open it up and have a look. I've already taken some pictures of this previously, so it's not technically a shrink rip per se. It's more of a box opening. How about that? So first up, if you looked at, uh, I've got a video out discussing maps, and in particular the Compass Games maps, and this is one of the most excellent maps, and high quality maps that I've seen from them. Nice quality paper. Great print. This is uh, not that high gloss sort of painted on, stickered on style of ink. Uh, the ink is being more absorbed into the paper or something like that. I don't know what the deal is, but there you have it. It's wonderful. I uh, really enjoy the artwork on this. It's all very subtle. You can see the terrain effects chart there and then the turn sequence of play. Uh, not sequence of play, the, the, the turn. Uh, track there with the reinforcements for uh, the, the, each side and replacements and it's all very uh, well good using color and icons pretty well uh, replacement tables there there's another map in here somewhere there are two uh, charts for each side there's a CRT on the map and on the uh, and also a terrain effects chart on the map and on these charts as well so that's kind of nice Replacement and fuel tables. I wonder why they put them on both. I wonder if it's just to fill up the the uh, space on the map or or something. I, I'm unclear why you would do this and then have it all right here as well. It seems redundant, but that's okay. Counters are a decent thickness. You know, it's a uh, it's it's they're not GMT thick, but they're not uh, scrawny. So uh, I, I think they feel okay. I haven't punched them out, and I don't really want to right now, although I am going to play this fairly quickly. Uh, these are these are extremely well formatted, and the registry is awesome on them. The colors are clear and crisp. We know that we've got uh, tanks here, and we know what types they are, basically. But, uh, you know, they're not the full-color high-resolution. They're just silhouettes. Works just fine. Uh, a range of colors to... Uh, uh, share the different uh, formations and uh, probably cores and things like that. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the second, uh, here's the second map, which is the larger of the two maps, I think. Yeah, so this guy stretches right out. <clears throat> this is carrying us across the western part of the desert, to Brook and whatnot, all the way across to uh, El Agali and uh, obviously, obviously Benghazi is over there. If you've ever played DAC or any of the other African Front games, you'll uh, you'll know the terrain pretty well. And you know, it's pretty it's riveting terrain. So it's actually uh, a very thoughtful choice of color here because it's not a bright yellow. It's it's a very nice sand. Let me dig in here. I mean, maybe you can see this detail. Maybe not because of the light. Uh, probably not. Let me just pop on a fluorescent light or LED and maybe that'll help. I kind of wash this stuff out. That's a pity. There's kind of a grainy texture to the, to the map. 
and it, it almost looks like sand, but it, as, you, as you try and drill in here and look, it's not sand. So whatever they've done with the color, with the artwork there, I think it's pretty nice. I, I like it. All right, there's uh, the classic reinforcement charts. You gotta put your, gotta lay your stuff out, man. You gotta lay your stuff out. Get all this uh, reinforcements out, your at start forces on the board. A uh, classic uh, Russian campaign style, and as a you know, it's because it's, it's same same design. And we'll look at the rule book in just one sec. Uh, what I was going to do is grab the order of battle and the setup charts from the early Russian campaign. I think I've got an Avalon Hill version here, and I've got the L2 version. I don't have my old Jedco version, but uh, anyway, here's a rule book. We won't we won't worry about that. Three column, crisp font. Clean descriptions by the looks of things. Lots of diagrams. Probably some refinements here. I think they said they might have added some uh, either extra rules or rules, uh, certainly clarifications, but also uh, maybe an extra scenario. I don't know. But actually, yeah, some extra optional rules here, perhaps. This is a detail that I don't know because it's been 20. <laughs> Uh, every bit of 20 my god it's probably been 35 years since i played this game so uh this will be just like coming back to a new game you know it's going to be awesome a uh, little events table action historical notes so uh you know john Kranz, uh, i don't know how he does everything that he does but he has been a busy boy a game turn sequence on the back there Busy boy. He's running Consum World, runs an expo that's one of the bigger board gaming expos around, and uh, publishes games as well. So he's done a fantastic job, or uh, or he's managed to get Compass to do a fantastic job with the the quality of the production here is really second to none. Um, I'm pretty impressed overall. I don't usually get super goofy over games. I opened this box with so much trepidation uh, because it was literally an impulse buy. I was like, ah, I'm not going to get this. But uh, I decided to change my mind last minute. I don't even know if I got the pre-order price. I think I just went and bought it uh, because I thought, you know what? I need to have this in my collection. I need to play this again, even if it's just one more time, just for old time's sake. And I'm very, very glad that I made the purchase because this will be... 13 pages of rules. We're going to we're going to demolish these rules in about an hour or less. We're going to set this punch this sucker up, clip some counters, we're going to get after it. We're going to roll some dice. Here, listen. We're going to do that. All right. Except you roll one because <laughs> it's a 1d6 CRT. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Look for more on the big board at uh, some point in the future. I'm actually not playing a lot of games right now. But uh, I did make time to do, uh, do this shrink rip, and we will uh, get this guy set up just as soon as we can. Look forward to talking to all of you soon, uh, uh, sooner or later. Ciao.